This is Kite the Power Reviews. I'm the Big Kahuna. This is Dr. Delta. Today we're checking out this Prism EL Atom that we picked up from Prism for $35. This ultralight kite measures 13 by 19 by 18, but we're not exactly sure <laughs> which is which, but it's expandable. So the whole thing closes up like this. You can take your hoop winder, put it right in the middle, and even leave it clipped to the kite. I like to put this right behind the map holder, you remember those, in my car, so that I can take it out anywhere. Kuna, this is quickly becoming my everyday kite. Yeah, EDK I, for sure. Like, honestly, I can take this thing out. It doesn't even look like a kite. I can just pop it up. Everything's connected. It does have this little frame around the outside, and it's really nice. Prism advertises that it likes 5 to 18 mile an hour wind, and I will say that that's about right. It flies um, in its own way. In fact, it's got a lot of character when it flies and flutters around. You want to take a look at some video? Absolutely. So it's got a really interesting style to it. I like this kite so much, I actually sent one to my dad who got me into kiting long ago. Let's hear from dad on what he thinks of this kite. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Delta's dad, and I'm here to do a review of a kite that he just sent me in appreciation for being his father and introducing him to kites. And it's the Prism EO Atom, the single line box kite that you don't have to assemble. But before I, I talk about that, it was actually purchased from um, Kitty Hawk kites and uh, it was in all the packaging that PRISM provides but in the box that they sent I got a copy of the Kiting uh, Journal of the American Kiting Association magazine and I didn't even know that they had this magazine and I just want to thank uh, Kitty Hawk kites for putting this in here because this magazine and this association looks like something that every kite uh, owner ought to be involved in to promote the joy of, of kiting. So let me go back to this review of the EO Atom. Uh, this uh, comes in a cleverly packaged thing. This is the back of the package. This is the front of it. You can see up close there. And uh, you can see that you on the back side here is where the spool that comes with 200 uh, yards of 20 pound Dacron line. But there's two snaps. You snap this piece and this, the reel comes off. And then this acts as like a little harness that comes around this. And it's kind of a plasticized uh, paper so you can keep it. And then this is the kite itself. And there's no assembly of this uh, box kite. It's one that actually you pull apart. You know, turn sideways, you can see up close. I pull it apart and it actually does this kind of expansion. And then at one end, there's a little um, line that you, you hook your, your kite string on and then you can fly it. And it, it flies at very low m miles of hour wind, about uh, I think five to 15 miles an hour, it will fly. And part of the fun of this kite, I have not tried it yet. I'll rate it later. Part of the fun of this kite is that when you fly it, uh, you can let the line be slack and it'll kind of do stunts and you can pull it again. And another uh, neat trick of these box kites as it's advertised, I, I will try it next uh, week sometime, uh, is that if it falls on the ground, because it can fly in any direction, all you have to do is kind of pull it a little bit if the wind's there and it'll pop up and start flying again. So just want to say, uh, uh, thanks to my son, Dr. Delta, for this gift, and I'm looking forward to flying it. I have not owned a box kite in the past. I have a parafoil kites, and I have several uh, Delta kites, and uh, that's how I introduced him to kiting. And uh, so I just want to say thanks to uh, Prism, thanks to Kitty Hawk Kikes, and especially thanks to uh, Dr. Delta, my son. Thank you, Mr. Delta. That is awesome. We really appreciate you doing that. Really makes us happy. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I had to rate this guy, I honestly would give this guy a four out of five. It's not my style. It's kind of fun to play with and see it run, but 
once you pull that string, it just goes right up. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to give this a solid 4.75 out of five. And I usually don't split the fives, <laughs> but this is probably the coolest cellular box kind I have. It's so little and light. It's not marketed as an ultralight, but it is light enough that if it falls, you can almost pop it up and it comes right up. The only things that maybe I would say aren't the, the best about this kite is right here on the edge, it frays a little bit, but it's probably because I maybe smashed it into the ground like a hard surface concrete a couple times. This is when you want to fly at the beach or on soft grass. It does hold up well to a tumble and comes right back up, but I'm going to give this a 4.75 out of 5. Just want to thank all you guys out there, all of our friends over at the Reddit, Kite subreddit, all the people who follow us on Instagram, who like everything that we do on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Wanted to say thanks to Kitty Hawk for including the newest copy of Kiting Magazine from the American Kite Flyers Association, a group we strongly support and hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for checking out this review of the Prism EO Atom. I am Dr. Delta and this is the Big Kahuna.